you push the magic button and then all the good things come out. <laughs> it's not what dad said. Yo, what's up everybody? How you is? My name's Matt Fries. And I'm James Gillison. And this is WindyTube. And today, we're, we're gonna, gonna blow, blow you away. away. Welcome, guys, to episode five of Windy Tube, which Say is called. What? Oh, it's uh, can't wait for episode five of Floaters to come out. That comes to us from Michael Monkin. I think he's over at uh, iFly San Diego. A couple things we're gonna talk to you about today. We've got some competitions that happen. One a little bit well known. The other one not so much. Uh, but we've done some scrounging and some investigating. And we've got some uh, some scores, some team names, and some sweet clips for you. It's so true! First, we're gonna start it with the most popular of the popular, the one that kicked off the competition year of 2018. That all took place in I Fly Lyon. It was called the Clash of Lions. <laughs> Lyon's in the French. Uh, 50,000 US dollars, I think we're at stake. Jeez, that's like 90,000 francs. Yeah, I don't know what the exchange rates are. I'm American. Regardless, three of the top teams had the name Windor in their name, which included Windor GB, mm. Windor on its own, and also Windor Superstars 4-Way. I won't bore you with the details, none of them got first. Now, is it, are they obligated to put Windor in their name if they're from that tunnel? <laughs> Probably. Are they just really big fans of the Windor tunnel and they're just... You know, I mean, I would be. I mean, a lot of superstars come from Windor. No offense, Flyspot. I still love you. Who took first in D4W? That's Dynamic 4 way yes. Nemesis. That's it. Those if you guys. imagine uh, the Vipers, which are famous for their Dynamic 2-Way, and Firefly, famous for their Dynamic 2-Way, and then you glued them together, left them on the floor in the dark. This would be your biggest nightmare. Nemesis came through, killed it. I don't know their exact scores. They got first place though, so who cares? Dynamic 2-Way, not who you think it would be. Aero Gravity Bros. Can't confirm or deny whether those people are actually brooders, 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 whether they're actually brothers or not. And on to my favorite, the freestyle. Beautiful. Cause I'm free, freestyling. First place was Maya Kaczynski. Second place went to a gentleman named Tom, who I'm not gonna lie, have never seen or heard of until this very moment. That means I've gotta watch way more videos and keep up. Third place was Miss Kaylee Wittenberg. Oh snap, Kaylee was there? That's right, dude, the Wittenbergs are heating it up. And she took third place just to show you peeps, she's there, she's ready, and you better be bringing it next time. Taking it back to the States. Down in the southwest corner of the United States in a little place called San Diego, there's a new iFly location called Oceanside. Oceanside decided to hold their own dynamic competition sort of locally. Which is amazing and incredible considering that the IBA usually holds and conducts most of the uh, national competitions that happen within the United States. So Oceanside basically said, you know what? F that. Cranked it to 11, ripped the knob off, and these are the results. We've got dynamic 2A and we'll start there. Coming in at number three, whoosh, daddy with an at sign. That's right, problem child all around. That's why they only took home third. But as long as you hug them, they'll stay with you forever. Coming down at number two is BJ and Pats. That's right, they couldn't think of a team name, so they just used their real names. Who got first place, James? Step Brothers came in first. It's gotta have something to do with all that extra room they have for activities. It's true. Moving on to dynamic four way. Coming in at number three, was Pretty Birds. Ooh, Pretty Birds! Number two was Oceanside We Fly. Ah, oh, they don't know how to spell. Coming in at number one <laughs> was good old RB2. And Matt, we know what RB2 stands for, right? Obviously, uh, Raging <laughs> <laughs> And that is the results for Oceanside's first local Dynamic competition. Thanks, guys. You killed it. Hopefully more come in time. Next coming up, we got a little segment for you from Sam E. Check this shit out. <laughs> Sam. I sometimes wonder if human cloning wasn't frowned upon, uh, would I be able to clone him from just the spit? Well, I mean, with the way that you collect it, I'd imagine so. We got 
have a special version of Flails and Wins. We had to modify the title as well, because really, when you start competing at the level that these competitors compete at, it's not necessarily a fail so much as a flub. Still okay in a way, because you, you know you're you, you're kicking ass. Exactly. You didn't get first, but you know, hey. Hey, if you hit your head on the door on the way out and you still make third, uh. uh... Hey. So here's the modified version called <gasps> flubs and wins. Sploosh. That's episode five of Windy Tube, my friends. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate every time you watch, like, and subscribe to this channel. And we're going to keep making content until the cows come home. And when they do, we're going to chop them up, feed them to the kids, and call it a night. For more tubes of wind and Windy Tube noobs, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> F it, I'm moving on. Let me get, look at that. Oh, look, look at, you hear that? You hear that, Alex Jordan? Ooh, ooh. That's right, people. Bonafide, real religion. Call today, Microphone City, baby.